The next example in this series of long division method two is using the same method but with a double digit divisor. So we're going to try the example of 8,374 divided by 18 using the same method as discussed in the previous videos using dangerous monkeys swing backwards or step one division, step two multiplication, step three subtraction, and then bring down. So we talked a little bit in the last video about using a multiples grid when we're doing uh, long division. Now it is recommended that you use it when we're doing double digits only because for our multiplication tables it only goes up to 12. So if you're really awesome at your multiplication tables up to 12 that's great but then the best way to help you out with these types is using a multiples grid like this one. So I made it just like I made the last one except this time I'm counting by 18. So 1 times 18 is 18 2 times 18 is 36, 3 times 18 is 54, and so on. So I'm going to use this to help with my long division. So let's get started. So I already know that I can't do 18 going into 8, so I'm going to use the two digits. So how many times does 18 go into 83? So we'll look down here. So I'm trying to get as close to 83 as I can without going over. Well, 90 is close to 83, but that's too much. 72 is it. So I know that 18 times 4 is 72. So I'm put my 4 up here. That's my first step in the division. 83 divided by 18 is 4 and something, but we're going to have a remainder in that case. So we have second step, multiplication. 18 times 4 is 72. Next step, subtraction, 83 minus 72 is 11. Next step is bring down, so I'm going to bring down the next number, the 7. Again, keeping my work nice and neat and lined up. So now I have 117 and I'm going to start the steps all over again. So this time, how many times does 18 go into 117? We'll look at my multiple pulls grid again and I'm looking for the number 117 if I can or as close to it as possible without going over. Here's 108 very close so I know that 18 times 6 is 108 I'm going to use that. So I'm going to put my 6 up here and then go on with my next step multiplication 18 times 6 is 108 then do my subtraction. 117 minus 108 is 9. And then I'm going to bring down my last number, 4, and start all over again. How many times does 18 go into 94? Using the table again. There's 90, so I know that's going to go in at least 5 times. Coming back up again. 18 times 5, 10 times 5, is 90. Next step is subtraction. 94 minus 90 is 4. So now I know that I can't do 18 into 4, so this is going to be my remainder in this case. So I'm going to come back up to my answer. So in um, next videos, uh, we'll start talking about how to turn these into decimals, but for now I'm going to show you how to use it just as a fraction. So we have 4 left over, and we wanted to divide it by 18. So the answer to 8,374 divided by 18 is 465 and 4 eighteenths, or you can simplify this to 2 ninths. That also works. It's really important, some teachers say you can write uh, R4, or, which means remainder 4, but really it doesn't really mean anything. Uh, they want you to represent it as a fraction or eventually as a decimal, and I'll show you how to do that in uh, another video. So that's how you do long division with double digits using a different method, dangerous monkeys swing backwards.